Hello everyone! Para sa video na to, pag-uusapan natin kung paano tayo makakapag-solve ng derivative by its definition. So let f be a function which is defined at each number x in some open interval a, b. The derivative of f at x denoted by f prime of x, so makikita natin kadalasan tung notation na to, this means the derivative of our function is given by the formula we have here f prime of x is equal to the limit of our function f of x plus h minus yung given a function natin na f of x all over h as h approaches 0. Ito, madali lang naman makuha yung value ng f of x kasi ito yung given natin. Ang medyo kailangan pa nating trabawuhin using this formula is this f of x plus h. Ibig sabihin, kukuhanin natin tung x plus h as our input lahat ng value ng x papalitan natin ng x plus h. Then we simplify, we solve for the value ng ating limit para makuha natin yung derivative of our given function which is also a function. So let us have our example here. We have here f of x is equal to 2x plus 5. Kukuhanin natin yung derivative nito by its definition. So let us use the formula. So sulat natin ito dito, kopihin lang natin. We have f prime of x is equal to the limit of our function f of x plus h minus f of x all over, this is all over h as our h approaches 0. So, ito yung gagamitin nating formula. Now, let us work on this. Baba tayo dito. First, kuhanin muna natin yung ating f of x plus h. This is equal to the limit of our function. Lahat ng x natin, dito sa given function na 2x plus 5, papalitan lang natin ng x plus h. Since we are given with this, this will become 2 times yung x ay gagawin natin x plus h. So, this will become x plus h. Tapos, yung function, meron pa tayong plus 5. And then, this is minus yung given function natin, our f of x, that is 2x plus 5. So, we write it down. Lagyan lang natin ng grouping symbol kasi nagsusubtract tayo dun sa buong function natin na f of x. So, this is just equal to 2x plus 5. And then, close natin. And then, according to the formula, eto na yung f of x plus h natin. Eto yung given natin na f of x. Then, this is all over our denominator, that is h. As h approaches 0. Then, simplify na lang natin yung nasa numerator muna. So, this is equal to the limit of, this is, distribute natin si 2, 2 times x, that is just equal to 2x, tapos 2 times h, that is equal to 2h, and then we have plus 5 here. Tapos, kailangan natin mag-ingat dito kasi we are subtracting dun sa buong function natin. This is a common error na ang ginagawa, minus 2x, pero hindi binabag yung sign. Since we are getting the difference dito sa buong function, babaguhin natin yung sign nila. So, this will become minus 2x, tapos yung positive 5 plus 5, this will become minus 5. And then, this is all over our denominator, that is h, as our h approaches 0. Then, we simplify. Ano ba yung kaya sa numerator? We have 2x minus 2x, this will become 0. 5 minus 5, this will become 0. Ano yung natira? We have this is equal to the limit of our function, numerator is just 2h, denominator is just h as h approaches 0. Then we perform our division, h divided by h, that is just equal to 1. Then we will be left with the limit, we write down limit of our 2 as h approaches 0. And then the limit of a constant, kahit saan pa tayo nag approach ang sagot lang natin is our constant by applying our limit theorem. So, our f prime of x, that is just equal to our value here, the limit that is equal to 2. This is the derivative of our function, 2x plus 5. So, this is the process kung paano tayo makakakuha ng derivative of a function by its definition using this formula. Then, let us try more. Let us have more examples. Let us have our example number 2 here. So, we have x squared plus 3x. f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x. To get its derivative, again, gamitin natin yung formula. We have f prime of x is just equal to the limit of our function f of x plus h minus our given function f of x all over h as h approaches 0. 
Then from our given function na x squared plus 3x, yung f of x plus h natin, lahat ng x papalitan lang natin nito. This will be our new input. So this is just equal to the limit of our function eto. Yung x ay papalitan natin, gagawin natin siyang x plus h. So this will become x plus h and then squared. Kasi this is x squared plus 3 times yung x ay gagawin naman natin din na x plus h. So this is x plus h and then ito na yung buong f of x plus h natin minus yung given function, we have yung buo na x squared plus 3x. Again, we have to write our grouping symbol here. And then this is all over our denominator h as h approaches 0. Then we simplify. So we have x plus h squared. If we expand this one, this is equal to the limit. This will become x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Either pwede mo na i-multiply si x plus h by itself or you just have to apply the formula for the square of a binomial. Then with that, let us proceed with our next one. We have 3 times x. This is equal to 3x. And then 3 times h, this is just equal to 3h. And then baguhin na rin natin yung sign na nandito. This is minus x squared. Si plus 3x ay magiging minus 3x. Then this is all over our denominator, that is h, as h approaches 0. Then we can still simplify certain parts dito sa ating numerator. We have x squared minus x squared, this will become 0. 3x minus 3x, this will also become 0. So ano yung sa atin? This is equal to the limit. Yung nasa numerator natin, this is just equal to 2xh plus h squared plus 3h all over our denominator, that's h, as h approaches 0. So, pwede pa natin itong masimplify kasi kung makikita natin dito sa numerator, we have a common term, that is h. Pwede natin siyang i-factor out. Then, doing that, this is just equal to the limit of our numerator factoring out h. Ang matitara sa loob, we have 2x. And then, yung h, mabawasan ng isa, yung h squared na to. So, this will just become h plus yung 3h, mawawala na si h, finactor out natin. So, this is just plus 3. So, this is all over h. As h approaches 0. As we can see here, meron tayong h numerator, h denominator. Since our operation is multiplication, we can perform division. H divided by H. So, ang matitira na lang dito, this is just equal to the limit of we have 2X. Ayusin ko na muna, unahin ko si 3. 2X plus 3 plus H as H approaches 0. Now, we do this, we just have to evaluate our limit. Since H approaches 0, ipapalit ko lang yung 0 kung saan nag approach H dun sa H dito sa ating function. So, ang gagawin lang natin, this will just become equal to 2x plus 3, by evaluating our limit, yung h natin ay magiging 0. So, this is plus 0. Then, the value of our function f prime of x is just equal to 2x plus 3. This is the derivative of our function. This is it for our example number 3. For our last example for this lecture video, let us have our function f of x is equal to 2x squared minus x plus 5. Again, para makuha natin yung derivative natin, we have f prime of x. This is just equal to the limit. Kuhanin natin yung formula. We have f of x plus h minus f of x given function. This is all over our denominator h as h approaches 0. We just apply the same formula by the definition of our derivative. Then this is just equal to, again, Yung x plus h, ito yung magiging input ng function natin. Kaya lahat ng x, papalitan natin ng x plus h. So, we have our limit here. Yung 2x squared, this will become 2. Times yung x squared will become x plus h. And then squared minus x. So, minus ang x ay papalitan natin ng x plus h. And then we have plus 5. And then this is minus. Yung given function natin, f of x, we have 2x squared minus x plus 5. So again, yung buo, kaya grouping symbol tayo, we have 2x squared minus x and then plus 5. So medyo mahaba na siya. This is all over our denominator, that is h, as h approaches 0. And then this is equal to, simplify muna natin to. We use the same process dun sa previous example natin. 
Itong x plus h squared, we can expand it as x squared plus 2 x times h. We have 2 x h plus yung square ni h that is just h squared. And then we have minus x plus h. Distribute na rin natin yung sign. We have minus x minus h plus 5. Same here. Gawin na natin yung signs dito. This subtraction. Baguhin natin. We have minus 2 x squared. Tapos yung minus x will become plus x, yung plus 5 ay magiging minus 5. Kaya na-expand na natin itong part na to into this one para mas madali na lang siyang gawa ng operation, then kailangan pa nating i-distribute yung 2. Kaya isulat muna natin, this is all over our denominator h as h approaches 0. So this is equal to distributing, we have limit, yung 2x squared, this will become 2x squared, 2 times 2xh, this will become 4xh, Tapos 2 times h squared, that is 2 h squared. Then tuloy natin, kopyahin, minus x minus h plus 5 minus 2 x squared plus x and then minus 5. Then baba lang tayo ng konti. This is all over our denominator, that is h, as h approaches 0. Then we simplify yung kaya sa numerator. May mga matatanggal na terms. We have 2 x squared minus 2 x squared. Ano pa yung meron? Minus x plus x, 5 minus 5. Then we were able to simplify our numerator. Then baba tayo, simplify pa natin siya. This is just equal to the limit of our function. What we are left with, we have 4xh plus 2h squared minus h. This is all over h as h approaches 0. Again, common din si h sa numerator. So, we factor it out. So, this is just equal to the limit. Factoring out h, ano natira sa loob? We have 4x plus 2. Mababawasan to ng isa. Then, 2h. Then, factoring out h, we have minus 1. This is all over h. As h approaches 0, then we perform division ng common terms sa numerator at denominator. h divided by h, this will become 1. Kaya, eto na lang yung matitira. Rearranging our terms again, we have our, this is equal to the limit of, we are left with 4x, unahin ko muna si 1, minus 1 plus 2h as h approaches 0. Again, kapag kinuha natin yung limit, since our h is approaching 0, yung h natin dito, papalitan lang natin siya ng 0. So this is just equal to evaluating our limit 4x minus 1 plus 2, our h will become 0. Then we simplify the value of our derivative ng ating function f prime of x is just equal to 4x minus 1. Kasi ito ay magiging 0 na. So this is the derivative of our function. This is our final answer. This is the process kung paano tayo makakakuha ng derivative of a function by its definition. I hope that you have learned something. See you on the next lecture video. Thank you.